what is it that is the key to confidence? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This is Amin with Sarah Masters developing the Muslim mindset for success. Just sitting in the car thinking, you know, what is it that is the key to confidence? Confidence is key. I've realized that after perhaps willpower, just com complete will to do something, confidence is the biggest uh, game changer, if you like, okay? And you know, there are hundreds of books and hundreds, you know, all these, mo the whole motivational industry, self-help industry, a lot of it is born out of people lacking confidence, okay? Now, after thinking a lot about confidence, like a lot, okay, and, and doing my reading and stuff, and even releasing a series about confidence, how to get your confidence up a few years ago, which I still think is very relevant, by the way, I've come to the conclusion of the number one way to gain confidence and that is the following let me just tell you it through a story if you like so in my last job um, I was a marketer pretty much okay I was a marketer and they hired me and another lady at the same time for the same job pretty much to share this job now after a few weeks might have been two three weeks we were getting to know the brand getting to know the message the story they were telling all of that we were sitting down with the manager, three of us, me, the other new lady, and the manager. And he said, look, I know you guys now, I've learned about how you are. I mean, you suck, not you suck. He's like, I mean, you're not so good about the whole storytelling, copywriting, you know, messaging, how to speak in a way that is in line with the brand's value so much. He told me that, okay? Now imagine you're new in a job, you're trying to, you're trying to show like you're, you're valuable and they were, it was a good choice for them to pick you and all of that and he says that to you. And he says to the, to, to the other girl, you're, you're actually pretty good at that, you've picked up on that uh, much better. Uh, and he said, uh, and you, I mean, I, I can tell you're, you're more of a data guy, you're more of an uh, analytical guy um, and so that's really good. And the thing is, when he told me I was not good at one thing, it didn't it didn't bother me at all I in fact I remember this very clearly he said that to me and I looked right back at him and I nodded and I said yep that's exactly me and that's why it didn't bother me it didn't hurt me at all because I know myself alhamdulillah I realized that knowing yourself is one of the two steps to being confident number one is to know yourself know what you're weak at and know definitely know what you're strong at now once you know, this is step two now, once you know what you're strong at, focus on that, do that. End up in a job, end up in a voluntary position where you are doing what you know you're good at and double down on it, triple down on what you're already good at and just keep getting better and better and better at that one thing. And you know, this guy Tim Ferriss, right, he has a great podcast, he podcasts the, the highest performers in every industry in the world from stand-up comedians to military people to investors to you know I don't know Arnold Schwarzenegger you know everyone yeah and he said one of the big trends I found is that they are very good at a very small number of skills and the rest they completely discard and you know high performance comes together with confidence you know and so this is what I realized know what you're good at do what you're good at right 80% what you do should be what you're good at, 20% should be, you know, you're learning new things that may be related to what you're already good at and to just become better and better at that. And when people say, ah, oh, you're really good at A but you suck at B, you could say, yep, that's right and I'm not trying to do B because no one can be a kind of jack of all trades truly, right? So no one's good at everything except maybe the Prophet, alayhi salatu salam, uh, you know, you could say he was good at all significant skills in life, okay, uh, that were around at that time at least. However, for, for the rest of us, we got to pick something. We've got to prioritize. We've got to say, look, I am, I, I'm good at this. I'm going to become even better. I'm going to become world class in this. And the rest, throw it out the window. Forget about it, okay? And then when someone comes to you and says, you know, you, you could do a lot of work in X, Y, Z, you could say, yeah, I could actually, in your head, obviously. Yeah, I could, but I'm focusing on 
you know xyz other things you know so that will give you a lot tr this is this is what i've realized it's the number one thing to get you confident okay knowing what you're good at knowing what you're bad at and focusing on what you're good at so there you go and you know this doesn't i wouldn't apply this to sins of course and and hasanat i mean when it comes to striving to to please allah and gain as much reward as possible i would definitely double down on what i'm good at and what i find kind of ease in but you always have to have that measure of striving and struggling uh to do what it might be harder for you for the sake of allah so let's say you find uh, reading quran quite easy do a lot of it yeah push yourself in that but then Fasting is great, great reward. So maybe you're not going to be that type of person to fast twice a week, every week. Fast, you know, one, two days a month or whatever it is, you know. Still try, but but know what you're good at. Again, know what, what you find easy and pleasurable, and that's completely fine. Everyone will be different in that regard. When it comes to sins, you know, in Islam, we can't just say, you know, well, that's just a sin that I do. So, you know, I'm going to forget about it. I'm not going to try to fix it. You know, we can't do that. Uh, but also what I found is once you strive to do good things for the sake of Allah, then it, it becomes much easier to leave uh, the negative things and the sins, basically. So in a way, do double down on what you're good at. Right? If that if that increases your iman enough, you'll start to leave the negative things. But I think you definitely still need to put in effort uh, and put the kind of systems in place to avoid any sins as well. So... Uh, as a summary, know yourself, know what you're good at and what you're bad at, triple down on what you're good at, and don't worry too much about what you're bad at, and then you will become confident. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching that video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in how to design your mindset and design your lifestyle as a Muslim so you can get everything you want done, then make sure you subscribe to this channel for at least weekly videos and check out the website right there where you can download free mindset resources and look at our blog with all the articles and stuff there. Uh, check it out and uh, see you.